Good morning and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Let's step inside and see what today has in store for us. First things first, mixing bottles for the bottle babies. Are you guys hungry? Are you guys hungry? Next, we go and knock all the salt mineral down. Sometimes it bungs up because of the moisture. And uh, we clean out the drinkers. Someone's making a noise like she's gonna lamb. So I'll we'll have a peek at her too. If they're fairly clean, I just uh, scoop the debris out. If they're really dirty, I'll scrub them. That's nice and clean. This girl still hasn't lambed. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Yeah. You're just, you're just waiting, aren't you? Oh, and I think uh, that mark on her back means she's from Handsome, so he threw big lambs too, so... Maybe she just has uh, two big, really big singles. We'll see. Okay, so the main barn's done. We'll be off to the coveralls. Someone suggested that uh, Arnie mount uh, our gloves in a spot that we're walking by all the time because we used to keep them in the milk house. So uh, sometimes you'd be out and someone would be lambing, so we wouldn't use gloves because I mean, we were there, so. Uh, this way, every time we walk by and we hear someone lambing, we grab one from the box and uh, stick it in our pocket and it uh, works really well. It's in the main runway here where we always have to walk by. So we have uh, the gloves here on the post and on the next post we have um, drenched guns and the clippers and dewormer. So these are stuff that we use uh, all the time. So that was a handy suggestion someone gave to us. Tagged a couple more ewes and lambs. Now off to the coverall. Feed Hunchy and her sister in 71. Arnie up there carrying a pail of green some um, hay ready there. I got my bottles. So we always start in the main barn where the younger lambs are and then we work our way out. the creep feed for the lambs that is getting out of our bin. And she's already waiting at the gate. 71! Come on! 71! We got Hunchy and her sister. 71! Come on! 88! 88, you're coming, good Good girl, this way, come on. 71! So 71 didn't run up. She was fast asleep under the feeders and didn't hear me. So she's getting individual treatment. So someone noticed a lamb getting strangled under the feeder in yesterday's video. 
after I just talked about how easily that happens. And I got to give you guys credit for not missing a beat because uh, I played it back and boy, was that hard to find. So Andre, hats off to you. Um, I didn't see it. It's very easy to miss in crowds um, and it can happen so quickly. But uh, checked all the feeders and everybody's alive today. So um, luckily that lamb did get out, but uh, it's a hazard with the mums uh, choking off the babies. And now it's uh, time for the straw. There's a lineup here as they root through it. This is actually hay we're using, uh, grass hay, because uh, we had an abundance of that and we had a shortage of straw. So you use what you have. Ben? This is the young lamb, lamb pen. And then we'll move to the back where the older guys are. Oh, that chunky one's hunchy. It's hunchy's sister here, also a chunky one. There's my 79. From this angle, you can see how, what I mean about the back being even from front to back. The whip, nice rim. Okay, so we o just open the gate and uh, push this through without anybody intermixing. So we'll have a scan here today. Nobody's at the feeder now. Come on, Mom. Hey. Hey. Come on. So I'll go move the mums out of the way because they don't move out of the way. They just want to be in the feeder. Mommy. Some of the lambs want to jump on it. Okay, guys. Make way. Make way. Ben, you don't need to do that. Make way, guys. Good girls. Come on. Make way. Make way. Make way. There we go. Once they get their head in the trough, they're sometimes hard to get them out. There's a really nice girl over there. That's a you lamb. Ben, Ben, you don't need to do that. They don't need that. Ben. So as you can see, the difference as you go from the first pen, which is the younger lambs, to the back pen, which are the older guys, is the thickness. Uh, they start to. Uh, develop their muscle and just thicken up. Some of them you can tell they've been in the creep pen because they've got, looks like they've been snorting creep. Now straw going on to the other side of the barn. We just let the rams out to make that process go easier. So they're all out here. They're actually going to be moved today or tomorrow to the next barn. And the little Dorsets will be coming in here along with Kevin and Karen. And it's all fun and games for these guys.
Did you look at the rams we have on offer this year? <laughs> oh, wipe out. All, all the girls are over there. They found that out. So now we're at the back in the Dorset pen. All this action going on and there's one back there fast asleep. Pretty girl, you're very pretty. Oh, Angel, go have a drink. Go have a drink. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. He's gonna go outside with a bucket on his head. Oh dear. <laughs> Looks like we have. A ram in trouble. He's a bit of a bucket head right now. Oh, no, he's not in. The... Arnie, how are we going to catch him? I didn't know you're coming. Just walk up to him. He's scaring all the others. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Jethro! It's our ram, too. Jethro, you silly boy. That's what happens when you're a little bit greedy. <laughs> See, that's a panic, um, nervous response when uh, an animal's afraid. They uh, have a little poop. Jethro? Did you learn did you learn anything from that, honey? Did you learn anything from that? I bet you didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Boys. Like I said before. Boys. Aside from the rams that thought Jethro here was being funny with the bucket, uh, the rest of the rams seem to have disappeared. Usually they stay in the yard, but I guess the whole crowd of them disappeared. So, we'll leave these four here and try to find the others. Oh, I guess they're in the front yard. Found some hay storage back here. You guys! They're not going they can't go this way because there's a big snow drift. Come on, you guys. You got in this mess. You can certainly get out. Go on. Ch -ch -ch. Come on. That way. That way. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Go the, back the way you came. They don't like snow, but they had no problem getting in here. Okay, all you need is one to figure out how to get through the snow drift. Oh, and that, oh, they're all wiping out under the car because it's very icy up here. That's why they usually don't come up. Slow down, guys. No running on the ice. Oh, they're going to go around. Are they? <laughs> so we got, got all the rams back 
Now we're just going to take a final peek at, uh, at the lambs in here, make sure everyone's okay. There's Angel's lamb. These guys all look good. The rams are all back in after their little little romp. On to the next coverall. This coverall is pretty easy. It's just feeding, feeding, and uh, doing the salt mineral. Cleaning drinkers. What kind of hairdo is that? I think she's losing her ball. Arnie. Wait till it, they rub it off on the feeder too. Are you having a really, really bad hair day? her when she comes and gets her head out of here. My goodness, you're having a really bad hair day. What is that? <laughs> She's rubbed all the hair off her neck. Honey, honey. Let's see the back. Now side view, please. Side view shows it better. Turn your head, we wanna see side view. Oh, she's attractive. <laughs> Poor baby. You need a shearing so badly. So badly. Maybe she's actually trying to make a statement. She's a rebel. Doesn't care what people think about how she looks. She's original and proud of it. This is the last cover all to do. These are all the lambs. Might be bringing another group over today. Replacement dorsets are back there. The yearling replacements are back there. And here's all the boys. The dorset boys. after lunch now. Arnie just uh, backed the trailer up to the barn and we're gonna move another group of Suffolk lambs over to the coveralls. So we make a little catch area in the pen and then we go in we catch all the lambs and we put them in here so we can load them easily. So this is a smaller group we're bringing over. 
just they do nicer in the coverall, so we want to move these guys on. Push up, guys. And we've got a little warm spell right now, so the quicker we move them, the better it is for them. Lock them behind the gate there, and then we bring out the ramp. Ramp is all set. Now it's the releasing of the ewes. And this is a really well-behaved group. Yesterday's group was a little... Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, come on. Come on. There she goes. <laughs> yeah. So over to the coverall now. So he's going to back up into this coverall. And those guys are going to join this group that we brought over yesterday. That's the use off, now the lambs. The boys just love watching this thing. And here come the lambs. a ewe uh, that was in this pen before uh, but she was ignoring her lambs so we brought her back out but now that this pen is open uh, we're putting her back out again to check out how she does hopefully uh, but I know her lamb is just thrilled to bits to be out of the jug he hasn't stopped hopping no one's nursing but you see she goes right to the feeder she's doesn't talk to her lambs much, so it's up to these lambs to find her. But uh, she's, uh, we're checking her again. The lambs love it. And in the meantime, we've got another girl trimmed and dewormed and ready to go out. She's coming out with her single. Because this mom's got to deal with having friends with her. So here comes the mom. That's her lamb out. So hopefully these guys do it properly this time. And we're gonna let one more group out to join them. So she's been dewormed. And now he's gonna flip her and trim her. And we got our lambs waiting for her. They're tagged and ready to go too. One thing I'm noticing here that is extremely important to anybody's sheep flock is udders. I'm in the older Suffolk lamb pen and I'm looking at all these udders and they're round, they're firm, they're not dangling, they're formed perfectly, no lumps. Good udder, good udder, good udder. Good, good, good. Every one of these has a perfect udder. See that? 
And there they are picking away at the hay. You're very handsome. Yes, you are. They all just got fresh hay put in their feeder. It's a lot better if the feeder was more friendly. See, they want to try go over top. It's a nighttime feeding. Look at that, Katie's having a drink. So every sheep has to go watch that. Katie hopped over the gate. I think this is how uh, coyotes get lambs. I think lambs, uh, coyotes do what Katie's doing, just root around and stuff. The lambs go check it out. And when the lambs are confident, the coyote uh, grabs it. I don't think it's a run and chase or anything like that, like uh, people's dogs do. I think it's a uh, lure them in. Okay. Well, on that note, there's Hunchy. Pretty soon we're going to have to call her Hunky. Yeah. Look at how big some of those guys are. Sorry. Look at that one on the box. Look at that one here. Those are big lambs now. Oh, Stark outside. Thought we'd end the night on some lambs. But we're off to bed until Arnie does night check at around 2 in the morning. So we'll see you tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.